Andrew Stone is a successful dance teacher, but he has a much bigger goal in life, to lead his pop group Starman from obscurity to world domination. The ultimate would be Starman number one in every country in the world. That's what I would love. Starman have already recorded a single. The next step is to film a pop video, but with no budget, they'll need to be very creative. Uh, the concept for the video is everyone's kind of wearing white leotard kind of like cat suits, and I've got mirrors put all on mine, and basically there's going to be a laser shot straight at me, and while I'm doing all my... The band are at the studios to meet the video directors, Sam and Harry, and to try on their costumes for the first time. Maybe you've got some costumes for you to try on. Yeah. But all is not well. Lately, Andrew has been worrying that backing singer Rosa Lee has been stealing too much of the limelight. Now it looks as though she'll be wearing the main robot outfit, not him. It's for you. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, he looked at me. Right. <laughs> The other thing... Did you not say I was wearing some kind of shawl or something? Did you not say that? No, no, it was oh, this. Oh, this? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I'm not really happy with my costume the way it initially was meant to be. I thought I was meant to have mirrors and stuff like that on me and I'm going to fire a laser at me and stuff, so it's, um... It's concerning. <laughs> Don't matter, man. Don't matter. <laughs> I am going to kill you when this is finished, just so you know, because I'm trying to laugh this off. <laughs> Just put the head down. They're going to go over your head. Oh my, Johnny, 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 Johnny. my God, it's like Starlight Express. Oh, ooh. Ah. That's looking really nice. Oh, my costume, uh, in comparison to, to the boys' costume, but obviously my costume is, is really glamorous and stuff, you know. Uh, <laughs> their costume, they look like painters. I really enjoy the fact that I'm the only girl in the band, and so um, I get like you know more attention and stuff. <laughs> At least I can admit it. At least I'm not one of those people who walks around saying, "Oh, I hate attention," and, and then you know, yeah. So it's it's all good. It's all good. Andrew decides to confront the directors about the costumes. I I, I thought originally that I was going to have like um, an outfit with mirrors uh, mirrors on, and you're going to fire the laser at. That was the way, that was the robot. That was the robot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be cool to have you in that, but it kind of it. You can lose the sense of the story. You have, you have one robot, and then we've got you sort of coming up to it. Right. And it'll You're be... like a more human character. Yeah. Right, OK. What you want is basically for my talent to speak out and not look different, because that talent will be seen as the costume. Exactly. We I, get get it. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. That's and I'm, I'm, cool. I'm cool with that. But later on, Andrew isn't cool with it after all. So Harry, the director, offers a solution. What? There's, there's a lady on the front. But you want me to wear that? We're not going <laughs> to. I know. Whether <laughs> you've got such a great figure, Andrew. So thank you, darling. <laughs> we do later. We're going to bring it out. Um, bring it out. Yeah, yeah, bring, yeah, yeah. yeah. The figure. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you won't have much choice in that. You'll be seeing everything. The big day has finally arrived. Starman are at the studios to film their first pop video. Today is a heavy day for me because I've been looking forward to this for a long time. And there's an old saying in the show business world, um, it takes 10 years to be an overnight success. And, you know, I've been trying to do this on this level for, well, 15 years. After the fiasco of the costume fitting, Andrew Stone is hoping the video shoot goes more smoothly. But with only six hours filming time to play with, that won't be easy. Maybe if it's coming from here. And all these people working so hard for Starman. I'm a lucky boy. Yeah, we get some smoke in this now, don't we? yeah, can we get some smoke? Put it down onto the floor. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Smoke 
No, it's no. just me and my jacket. I've just set the whole alarm off. <laughs> yeah, it is you. Are you going to be much longer with the smoke? No, no, no all it's, honesty. Right. it's just because we're waiting for the actors because they're not ready. So, so it's their fault. Can you not switch off possibly for like 15 no. minutes at a no, time? No, 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 absolutely not. We can't turn the right. fire alarm off. So at what time is it going to be a problem? Well, it's a problem now. It's actually a problem when, full stop. When will it be... When will it, it won't be not be a problem. Be, well, 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 the best you can do is to not use very much. Well, no, the best you can do is actually, if it sets the alarm off, then you can't use it. You absolutely can't. Okay. You absolutely can't, and that's it, so... All right. All right. As an artist, I'd like to be as big as George Michael. Because the songs he's written and done have lasted the test of time, and they still will when he's passed away. And um, I want to leave a legacy behind. I want to leave songs behind that um, people remember. And if I do songs that people have a life-changing experience from, then I've served my purpose on this earth. That's what I want to do. I'd like to be as big as George Michael. I'd like to be as big as George Michael. I'd like to be as big as George Michael. Hi, I'm Andrew Stone. Welcome to my crib, Andrew Stone. Enter my little piece of heaven. This is my pad, man. It's my pad. A portable hog. I mean, I can take that out with me if I'm getting really hungry. That's not normal, is it? So come over here. Let me show you my great bedroom. It's amazing. This is where all the magic happens, you know what I'm saying? There you go. The bed. So, guys, before we move on, I want to show you my home entertainment system. Who has a home entertainment system like this? I mean, check the screen out. 500 millimeters. Woohoo! And it comes with Due. I tell you something, who needs your Missy Elliott Ferrari bed and your pop up televisions? This is the lick. This place has been fenchewed. This is the reason why things are working out. Hope so. Come with me, let's go and see some Canadian geese. Come on. This is the mansion, man. This is the mansion. So let's go over to see the Canadian geese. So, can we stop there? Because it's getting bread. Bread, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Nothing in there. Why did I do that? They're very loyal and faithful to me. They love me. So you can see my flock of animals, my lovely lake, my fields. Now let's go and see my automobiles, my top grade A1 Diablo situation. I don't want to give it all to them, I need some toast later. Missy Elliott, she has a Ferraris. P. Diddy has his Lamborghinis. I have something there. You know what? It's got far more gears than their cars. Check this out. 24 7, 24 gears. He did, he can't pick his car up. I can do it with one hand. Now, you see my crib? It's time for you guys to go. See ya. Come on, go, get out. Had enough. It's all about the Leighton, not about the LA.